Hello everyone, welcome back to Etherate. It is day three, and this time around I brought a very special guest with me. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm not that special, but I guess <laughs> it depends on your definition of special. <laughs> hmm. um, I'm Ashik, I also do uh, Etherate videos, and we play Faye, and we both really like green mages. Yep. <laughs> green Let's mage unity. Show. Yep. Anyways, I brought... Oh, I'm sorry, go on. Green mages for the win! <laughs> Anyways, I brought um, Ash with me today. Hopefully she can help me um, solve some etherade maps for today. Anyways, let's see how we're doing so far. Of course we get the failure. The failure before the success. Of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's not That's so bad. That's been me this week, too. <laughs> Don't forget, AR isn't real. Um, I think this one's new. I don't think we've seen this one yet. So, let's see what we're up against. You have a lot of defense replays. How many do you have so far? Like, three or four, maybe? <sighs> well, here's an Altina with no S slot. Then they're gonna bring a Sothis along, and then a base level Nagi. Ouch, minus res. They got the Chad Reinhardt with no S slot once again, and a Sirius with no S slot once again. Confidence. Anyways, they're gonna try to tank with um, Nagi. I see that they, they have chosen death. They clearly didn't see that Saizo has the armor dagger. <sighs> Anyways, everyone's gonna start making their way. And there's a dance. And I think this is when Ethlyn goes on a murder spree. <laughs> 60 damage from the vengeance. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this is where it ends for them. Not bad. They place much faith in Nagi. Anyways, this one. Oh boy, this one. <laughs> this is why armor units need to be stopped. Oh, plus 10 fake. With the fodders of fodders. They gave her steady posture. Odd follow-up. And I didn't know this was inheritable. I thought this was the Halloween Hector only. Pull smoke. No, it's inheritable. <laughs> Pull smoke and mare stance. This is a horrible thing. A plus speed fay with 36 speed. She's just a bundle of stats. I know. 47. 45 defense. <laughs> and they got Naga. Cancer. Their bonus unit. And Altina. Nice, they trout the the trap. I think this one they take a while to get into position or something. No, I lied. Oh, that face is just, just such bullcrap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I've almost pierced through him. Oh, and then Ethlyn almost takes out um whatever her name is. Oh, 
I mean, I'd comment, but the screen went dark. <laughs> so I don't know which what's her face you're talking about. <laughs> that three houses with the purple hair. The like the recluse. Oh, Bernadetta. There we go. Okay. Yeah, she she's a little BS too, but for different reasons. <laughs> Faye's just kind of the arms are bull crap. <laughs> I've seen her on on. I have a harder time with her on player phase with the bull fighter with the impact and stuff. Mm hmm. Because she comes with an impact bow and bold fighter, and it's not hard to win a speed check against her. But like, I don't run any units that have guaranteed follow up. <laughs> So I can't even get to the speed check part unless I run no follow-up, and she usually has so much attack that by that point I'm just dead anyway. I know. Stop Not the four cool. units. Anyways, this success came in, and I wish it came in earlier. That would have been nice. And they have their 74 HP Kranya plus 7. <laughs> Up there. Yeah. She's yeah. also gross this week. She's I also know. really gross this week. No, it's bullcrap. I can't wait to use Julian just when shot people. Oh, you mean legendary Julia? Oh yeah, I'm waiting for next week. <laughs> oh, that's right. She's a bonus unit, and it's going to be Earth season. You are going to have a blast. I know. I can finally have mother, mother and daughter on the same team. That'll be fun. And they're two different colors too, so you'll be able to check two different types of units. Yep. And every dragon ever. <laughs> Those are my favorite Except teams. Sothis. Except Sothis, because she doesn't count, because apparently she's not a dragon. I mean, she is, but she, she, she denies it. <sighs> like, in-game, or...? No, I mean, like, in her weapon. Oh. I haven't played Three Houses, you guys. <laughs> You know, no, in, in her weapon, she just like, she doesn't count as a dragon. So dragon effective doesn't work on her. Oh, I guess they surrendered because they stepped on the trap. Well. Oh. That'll do it. <laughs> Anyways, after much delay, we we'll finally get started. We have our teams. Let's just dive right into Cancer. It's Shulk. Hmm. Like Monado Shulk? No, I just said Shulk. <laughs> See, they got their plus two in, their heck there. Plus two Roy. Yuma. Shirsh. And Olivia. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, so I legitimately cannot see your screen. No? No, I haven't been able to see your screen since, like, your second defense replay. Oh, my. I guess it's time for a quick, <laughs> a quick cut. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. We had that issue fixed. Now, looking at the teams, I could just wait for my, my bolt tower to hit them. It's going to be hitting everyone here, and they left their healing tower right here. So, I could... Hmm. I mean, if you wanted to smite up into Shershi, I guess you could. Yeah. Or you could go up the right-hand side. I mean, you could, you could just go up the right-hand side. Which might be better because yeah. if, by the time you go, if you go up the right hand side, by the time you hit turn three, they're all they're all gonna get hit, and you can just snipe Duma. Mm -hmm. If you can take one hit from Lynn um, and kill her on retaliation, then the rest of it should just be kind of a cleanup, I, I think. Yeah, it depends on who gets danced because she doesn't have a weapon, so you can't bait her. Yeah, because if I do use Julie, I have to be careful because her weapon. Um... It's going to be neutralizing my effects. Yeah. 
And since she's faster than me, she's going to be getting the plus four. Plus another plus four. And I need to make sure that Julia can one-shot her. But that's that, 73 bulk. Yeah, so but that Julia shouldn't be an issue either. Because I'm going to get the 35 damage from the, the bolt tower. Right, yeah. So if you can just take one hit, yeah. the rest should be okay. Although you could also just like... Oh no, I wouldn't do Altina though because... She's a sword, and she's running. Is she running? It's okay, it's blessing. Yes, she is. Yeah, not so much mm. for that. My only concern is if um, what's Roy got? He's got the Lock. blazing Durandal refine, and then he has Fury, then attack speed oh, two. Are there any rallies at all? Um. There's a harsh command from um, Shirsh, but... Are you running any debuff? And no, I'm not. No, I lied. I'm running a chill speed. Okay, who has the highest speed? Uh, Lin, probably. Yeah, Lin. Okay, then then we're probably okay, because I think um, Shirsh, or however you say her name, would be the one to get danced, because I think she'll harsh command on Lin. Mm-hmm. It just means that Lynn has more speed, but more speed doesn't really matter if she can only hit you once. Because, mm -hmm. like, my only concern is that Roy would go down three, and then he'd get moved back up into Olivia's range, like, right below Duma, and then go one, two, and three, and then hit. Well, I guess he still can't reach you. Mm -hmm. He can't reach you no matter what. I think you're okay. If you can, yeah. If you can, like, tap Duma and hit Lynn, I mean, you've pretty much got the entire thing. Yeah. Sort of. In my opinion. But now if you lose, then I'm going to feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> you <bad> advice. <laughs> nah. I also have to be careful because they're going to have the Osteus Pulse. So I guess that means that Roy's going to be having the four cooldown for Gale Force. And if he yeah. manages to hit me twice, he, he can possibly get off a of Gale Force. So... Yeah, but he's also going to be missing 35 HP, so... You you just have to tap him. Hmm. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should. Yeah. Now I'm kind of just wondering if. Hmm. If I can even like try out my Sella <laughs> on this, but I'm gonna I mean, be. You could. Yeah, because he's like a tank. <laughs> I'm just gonna be annoyed with Lynn. Yeah, he won't be able to counter Lin back. Hmm. What's the Celef team look like? Like, who's on it? Oh, it's... It is... Celef working with um, Lucina. Hmm. So he has um, the Repel and Phantom Speed, so he should be getting around, like, 55-ish mm, speed. If I'm doing my He's calculations very correctly. Familiar with this build. <laughs> very familiar with this build. I just did something kind of similar on a unit with very similar speed. <laughs> Except I'm running in the light. Oh, uh, Larson is such good use, don't you think? I know. <laughs> such a bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> just spotter her off in defiance. I know. The cell yeah, was I mean, an atrocity. <laughs> No. Yeah, I think it's a neat build, if you can pull it off. I saw someone try and um, do something like that with cells, but they were running a double attack speed bond, and I thought that that was a little bit harder to do. Yeah, I'm um, reluctant about the, the bond skills, because you don't really want to be next to someone in ether raids. Yeah. Hmm. Not most of the time. Not unless you run double tanks. Yeah. Which most people don't. Um, But my next question is, if you hit Duma... With Julia, mm -hmm. is she going to be running any visible buffs? Because I'm sure she's going to panic her. Yeah, she is, actually. Because that would be a big thing. I mean, you just you could also just not tap Duma. As long as you had someone who could counter Lynn back, you could bait her from really any of those spots. Yeah, I could possibly like have Julia... 
let's say we break all this stuff and then I have Julie right here. I smite her up. She's likely gonna be stopped um by this thing. Mm -hmm. Unless I manage to somehow we're here before turn three or something. Like I can destroy this like turn two if I can possibly get there. Um attack Duma and then I dance her and no. No wait, yeah, that can work out because um she's gonna be having less HP. Answer? Yeah. If I'm using the Julia team, um, she has reason. Oh, okay. So if I do end up using the Julia team, um, we can just break this, break this, and then I come up here, break that. Mm -hmm. On my turn two, and then, um, now that can be, like, right here or something, I don't know. Shh. Or something. Julia destroys that. I smite her up. Julia well, can attack Duma and then like reason come in from the bottom, dance her, and then she can just stand right here. Then she can bait out Lynn. Hmm? Uh, who's the chill tower going to be hitting? Um. Four. Um, I don't know if it might be Julia or if Fiora is going to be. Make sure she lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need to survive anything but the first turn, and then I feel like you should be good. Yeah. It's just a matter of trying out the Julia team or the Sullif team, really. I think either of them can possibly pull it off. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, I just feel like the Sullif team might put you in a little bit more danger. Just because you can't kill anyone right away. Oh yeah. Huh. I mean, if, if you did want to do that, I mean, you could bait from right below Shershi, but um, you'd get panicked by her. Salif won't be getting panicked by um, Shershi because he's oh, gonna. Right. He's got a ton of HP. He's gonna be having like seventy-one HP. <laughs> true. That's true. Now I could try that. What would that lead to, though? Um, I mean, there's a couple of... I, th I feel like Lynn's just gonna go. Yeah, because if I place then... Celeb right here, she's gonna move down, attack me. Azura's gonna dance her, then she's gonna hit me again. And I have to be wary about the swap, too. Yeah, what might happen is, uh, sure she harsh commands Lynn, then Lynn attacks. And I think Olivia dances sure she, and then sure she's gonna pull Lynn back. No, because she has harsh command. Right. Oh, no, that's right. But I think, I think you could still swap in with, um, Roy. I'm really bad at reading assist movements. I know. It's a, really it's a skill. <laughs> <laughs> it's something you acquire through much, um, pain in AR. Yeah, that's what I see. She's gonna be attacking twice. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be right here. There's gonna be a harsh command. She's gonna move down, attack, and then I imagine she's gonna dance her again, and then Roy might move down, swap with Lynn. Mm -hmm. hmm. Unless I bait from here. I mean, that's an option, but you run the risk of being gale forced off of. Oh, yeah, huh? As long as I keep, like, this building intact, I have a safe spot right here to tank. How much speed does Celeth have? Right now, he has 33 speed, but if I give him the plus 6 from speed tactic, he's going to be having 39, plus the other 6 from... Lucina's drive speed and her inbuilt weapon that's um 45 speed and then with the phantom speed that's gonna be 55 speed. A 55 speed only applies for repel though. Yeah. But Lynn's gonna be having very close you need 10 speed over the opponent to get the full 40% reduction. So you can only um get the 40% reduction from 45 speed. Yeah, that's true. So 
Lynn is going to be doing full damage to you. Hmm. Hmm. Which is the tricky part of using a repel unit. <laughs> and the thing is, is like I think Roy is actually going to be doing about that much damage to you too because he, Blazing Durandal gives him like plus seven, I think. No, it only yeah, gives him plus seven. six, um, plus seven speed and plus ten defense. So yeah, so he'll have forty-eight. <laughs> And that's mm. where it gets tricky. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Plus, on that team, I think Celeste's going to get hit by the one of the shrines. Like, mm. yeah, he'll have cooldown, but um, like he's still going to take full damage from that lens. He won't get double. Well, no, I guess he will. He will. No, he won't. Wait, how much speed does he have? She has more visible speed, which she would. Um, without the... The phantom speed, he's going to be, like, at 45 speed. Yeah, so she's she's going to double him, actually, I think. Because she is 45, and she's going to have more visible speed, which gives her an additional 4, and then an additional 4 from... Um, so it's going to be plus 8 attack, so that's 60... What is it, 60? I guess she won't. I guess she won't. She'll hit you once. <laughs> She'll hmm. hit you once. It's just a matter of, like, how risky do you feel like being right now? <laughs> both of them seem pretty risky. <laughs> They're both risky, but in different ways. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe the I should just... This has a lot of math. Um, that you yeah. Have to think about. I was wondering but, if know, I should... If you... uh, oh, go ahead. If you don't bait out Roy... Um, if you, you know, try and do the, um, I don't know if you'd want to, but you, I, I really think if you're going to go for the repel strat, you should go for the bolo shirshi at some point. Mm -hmm. Cause then you avoid the Roy issue and you can play your face and let them out. Hmm. I don't know, man. I hate. I personally hate running teams that are all melee. I know a lot of people who do it, but it's so uncomfortable for me. <laughs> so I know. That's why we need like some ranged Astra unit. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. It'd be nice if they weren't flyers. Have you noticed that they're all flyers? Like most of the the offense units are all flyers, and it messes Not with the most tactics. Of them, all of them. All oh of yeah, them. yeah. That's what I. <laughs> Ah, I hate it. And that's just with tactics. I don't know. It's really aggravating. I want a cab. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but I really want a cab. Oh, if only. An armored one suck, but. I'd be so mad if we get an armored offense <laughs> unit. Unless it comes, like, with built in armored boots, in which case, like, why are you an armored? Right. Maybe mm. it would be, like, fall and peaky. Fallen Tiki, but she's a, an Astro unit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Anyway, those are my two... Those are the two things that I, I like. Um, two options that I like. I, I don't really know which is best or which is easiest to execute, but... Um, yep. Hmm. I'll give... Your call, boss. <laughs> I'll give. Hmm. I kind of want to give Cell up a try. I don't care if I lose. I just don't care anymore. Him and see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna try Cell up. Go for it. I absolutely do, do not care for Ether Eights anymore. Let's see, one, two, three. So have to stay out of this range. Turn for turn three. Okay. Um. I'm waiting for the screen to catch up with you. Oh, okay. You need a need me to refresh it. Nope, came back. We're good. Is it working fine? Like, can you see all this? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can. Things are animated again. Okay. I love moving. Okay. 
Okay, so we can break this. So it can come up here, break that. Now we can break that. Can't wait to see what Celeth can do. I know, me neither. <laughs> Your orders. Break that. Keep in mind turn three, if you bait from over there, you're also going to be hit by their bolt tower. Yeah, that's why I, um, when my turn three happens... Oh, damn it. I don't have my bolt tower anymore. I forgot about Duma's stupid catapult thing. Okay. Oh my god, we both missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to AR. You both? Well, I mean, you know, at least you still have your healing tower. I guess. Completely forgot. This is why Astro Season's such a shit storm because you have so many, like, anima units that can do some crazy ass shit to you. Um. It's true. Y Yoon and Sothis, by comparison, are just soft. They're, like, not s as scary as the anima defense units. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so new plan. Maybe. I don't know. Mm. What, is, what is the new plan? Oh, it's just we survive. <laughs> oh man, Duma gets me every freaking time. Freaking Duma, man. What a bastard. I think he's more annoying because of upheaval than anything else. Yeah. Do you still want to bait from that spot? <sighs> what would happen if I bait from this spot then? Maybe I can get the ball moving. I mean, you're. it's going to be about the same. It's just that, um, you know, I mean, you can't get panicked by sure shape. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting panicked. So that's not even an issue. So long as you keep the rest of your units kind of out of the way mm -hmm. of Lynn's. Um, if she happens to break free for whatever reason, like, she could go down three, hit you, and then if you had any of your units, like, below the fireplace or where Celeth currently is, or um, to the left of that, um, you know, she could hit and kill one of them, so you mm -hmm. might want to make sure that she's not there, but, I mean, ultimately, I think Lynn's going to move and hit you once or twice, depending on who Olivia dances, and I get the feeling that she'll, wait, who's getting the chill seat? It's Roy, actually, because um, Lynn has honed Cav, so he's eating the chill oh. speed right now. Oh, interesting. So Lynn's probably going to go down, attack, and then get danced and attack again. So you're going to have to take two hits from her, would be mm -hmm. my guess. Hmm. And I, have to, I also have to worry about Duma coming straight down to hmm. I guess I could try it now have Celeb stand right here move Lucina right where Altina is and then we try to tank then I'm gonna be getting healed up by my um, crappy healing tower um yeah I mean your next that's one benefit from going from down below is that you could um, potentially heal up the second turn. So as long as he lives, he's yeah. going to be getting like, what, another 35-ish HP mm -hmm. from the start of the next turn. So yeah, I mean, you might be okay. Just a matter of where I should place Altina and Fiora so they can be on hand to help. Mm. Yeah. Also, who's got your buff that Fellas gonna get for speed, or did he already get it? Um, I have the speed tactic, and then I'm gonna be moving Lucina where Altina yeah, is. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see the tactic. What can I do? Okay. Yeah. I I suppose I can. I should just keep this intact then. What would happen if I don't keep that intact? I break that. Link comes if you down. Don't keep that intact, then you're gonna have a hard time killing whoever's behind it next turn. Unless yeah. You break it. Because you're gonna you're gonna have to like break it and then try to get a different unit up there to to kill things. Mm -hmm. Right, so difficult. So if I do break it and then Lynn comes down, attacks Solov. There's a dance. She can Pretty possibly sure move. Be the one to be 
Yeah, she's yeah. the one that she would move one, two, three. So everyone basically in like this section right here, right here would be in range. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So perhaps I can keep Altina right here. Maybe. I'm just guessing at this point. Do I sound confident? <laughs> I mean, you've got three flyers. Lynn wants to kill the flyers, but she's going to go for Celeste because Celeste in range. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the only thing that I would make sure you do is make sure that, um, you know, she, she doesn't get loose. Mm -hmm. I, I keep everyone, like, on the right hand side if you can because like one potential thing that could happen and remember I'm really bad at reading this is that Lynn could go down she could attack and then I feel like dances always happen before it's just but like you never know if um oh that's you never true I would then swap her out of the way and then um and then and then sure she would go down. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. think that really changes anything. I just don't want to keep but... anyone here because I know for a fact yeah. if she does move down and then there's a dance, whoever's in this area is so dead. Yeah, um, no, I definitely agree. I definitely agree with that. I guess I'll just, let's just see what happens. Yeah, we're about to find out. It was so simple all along! <laughs> Except, uh, now what? What can I do? Hmm. Could just trap everyone yeah. there. <laughs> Take a bolt fire doom out of the face. I don't know. What special are you running? Oh, a noon time. Oh, that's why you're not getting any extra damage, I see. Is that so that you can just always heal up on, on counter? Yeah. If I move Lucina up, he should be able to one-shot her, right? Because the plus three from the drive attack and then the plus three from the gear school. I don't know. How much is, she, is he doing? Let's go. He's just five short, but that should be enough then, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. If you have Lucina in range, um, then you should be able to kill him outright. Now, you need to get her over one space. Your orders. But Naga's all the way over there. Oh. Understood. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, there's no other ranged unit, so. Now. Can do. Yeah, the only thing is, is now you have to contend with a Old Fighter Duma and a Gale Force and. Yeah. Gross thing. With utter certainty. You want to break the ether while you're there? <laughs> Yeah. See what should happen. Will there be a harsh command then? Um. No, he's probably maybe. gonna be losing that. That no. He won't lose that debuff. He'll keep the debuff. He's gonna lose the the buffs, but the debuff's gonna be coming back. Yeah. So there's a good shot. She'll harsh command it. Mm hmm. Because he's in range of her now. Like she, he wasn't in range of her last time. She couldn't reach him to harsh command him. I must focus. Now, who should I keep behind Solo just in case? Can do. Mm. Altina, probably. I don't know if it matters, but I could give Altina the... No. Mm. If I just swap with Altina to give her the... The speed res boost. I know she has a debuff right now, but once I move her, it's going to be gone. Yeah. I mean, she has a buff and a debuff. Let's see. You 
I just feel like probably Altina has a better chance of surviving if Celeph dies than Lucina. Yeah. That would be my guess. Here we go. Not bad. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wondered about that. Yeah. It was like straight damage too. Yeah. Yeah. There's only so much damage reduction can handle. Oh yeah. Maybe I should just get Bray Bike and just give him a call and just end turn. Well, he okay, held his I own. Yeah, you know, like, my first venture into the wild with my Repel Ike was not, um, very successful either. <laughs> Got my butt kicked the other day by a flyer ball of all things. Um, yep. I don't know if you're planning on keeping it or not, but... Yeah, I'll keep it. Who cares about AOR? <laughs> now... You could try shoving her up one if you have shove on her, and then What's see if it's next? a lightning trap. Oh no, I don't have shove on anyone. Oh, okay. What's on Lucina? Reposition? Yeah, reposition. Oh, okay. But I can do this. Yes. Ah, that was the trap. Now you die. Certainty. Hmm. That was That wasn't bad. Hmm. It wasn't least, bad. I don't mind losing one year. I was worried you're... about the bold fighter Duma, and then he came along and said, "Yes, you should definitely be afraid of me." This Duma being Duma. Yep. Poor Stella. You it's start. Okay. He did good. Yeah. He did good. You start um, living once you don't care about AR. I know you're going Wo Dao with noon time. But I actually wonder if Soul might not be better. Well, the reason I have Noontime and the Wodao is because um, with the Breath effect, he's going to be getting a Noontime proc every, I guess, every time he's hit. Yeah, but like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think about, like, the recovery per hit sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I'm almost, I'm almost wondering if Soul is better just because, like, if you're running with Lucina with the advanced cooldown anyway, um, and you're planning on naturally doubling, after the first setup, you should be able to get Soul every turn, too. Because right now, you get hit once, and then you noon time back. And so if you noon time back every time, and you're trying to get a two-turn cooldown charge going, like, in a loop, um, then you want to be able to one-shot the enemy. But if you're doubling them, then if they hit you, and then you hit back, and now noontime's charge, and then they hit you again, and then you hit them for whatever, or, you know... It, uh, mm. hang on. I'm not explaining this very well at all. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, let, me, let me try again. Okay. If you get hit once, then noontime's charged, right? And then you mm -hmm. hit back and you heal. But then you're back to zero, right? So now you have to get hit back once, and then you can hit them again. Right? Uh-huh. So you're basically going one, two, one, two, one, two, like, the whole time. Whereas with Soul, you would get hit once, and then you would hit them once, and then you'd hit them again, and Soul would proc, I think. And then it would wait. No, I'm sorry. It's after the first encounter that that would work. Uh huh. One, and two. I used I forget. to get. Is Lucina a breath? Yeah, it's a breath effect. She's a breath effect because that's like every hit then. Yeah. In which case, you could almost run. Ether and Slaying Edge for better effect, think of it. Mm. At that point, there's no point in running a three-turn cooldown. I don't know, I think about it, because, um, because, uh, 
I, I, I feel like if you if you do the if you huh. kind of like mess around with the volleys in your head a little. I with think the what in my head? <laughs> volleys, like you're volleying the attack back and forth, right? Like you're talking. Oh, right. Like a volley. Yeah. I think after the first encounter, Ether reliably gets set up. Mm hmm. That you should be able to proc that every encounter. So you're essentially still taking like the 10 extra damage ish because Ether's giving you a 50% reduction in defense and res, and then also giving you a 50% heal, like Soul would. So I'm just yeah. wondering if that would work. Because if you had recovered more health, with that Duma proc throughout that encounter, um, he wouldn't have killed you. Oh, yeah. That's why I was wondering that. Hmm. I guess I'll still experiment with the whole <laughs> repel cell of things. <laughs> it's worth messing around with in, um, in, uh, 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 arena assault. Mm -hmm. You just throw Lucina and Celeph and like a couple of score bots on the team. Or even like, you know, the half of your Ether Rage team minus the bonus unit and then just see like how easy it is to set up something like that. Oh yeah. Because, like Noontime is super useful for like the one or two turns. Like you're only encountering one or two units at a time. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to try and face tank like four, I'm wondering if, um, you know, higher CD special might be better. Because, like, Lucina's whole thing, the reason why she was so good with Brave Ike is because four-turn ether um, that he could reliably throw off every round. But any unit can do that after the first encounter. Yeah. The only thing that makes... Because it's like um, the, way it goes. the only thing that makes Brave Ike special is the whole damage reduction. The fact that the foe, yeah. if they're faster than him, they can move... Um, Two times. And then right. that's when I gets the ether off. But other units, they don't have that. They just have to get hit. They hit back. And let's say the foe's fast. They hit back. And then, like, they hit back again. And then that's, I guess, when the ether pops on the last hit. Yeah, well, that's the cool thing about the Celeph, right? Because he's getting a 40% reduction. It's the same as Bike gets. It's just he doesn't get the 80% reduction on the second hit. But that's okay because he's basically immune to hardy bearing as a weakness, right? Because if, if Ike gets hit with hardy bearing, then that second hit reduction is, like, whatever. Yeah. Right. So Celeph basically keeps the 40% reduction twice, and he's immune to hardy bearing, and so he can basically, like, just <sighs> face tank the world if you can, um, if you can get his regen up a bit. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Um, I don't know how great that'll do, but um, I do know that, like, for for Altina, for example, if she gets hit once, then she will always proc Twin Blades on the second hit, regardless of whether she has Lucina or not. But yeah. um, if you're going to Vantage Strat her without setting her up first, then you kind of have to run Lucina on her if you want a reliable um, Twin Blade proc. Yeah. Because she needs that cooldown. But I think if you do the, like, volley math back and forth for, like, the cooldowns and stuff, I think he can pull off Ether after the first thing. Mm hmm It's just a matter of him not having... It's, it's, it's tricky because he would have to not proc Ether on the second hit. He has to proc it on his first hit in the second encounter for the chain to... Yeah. I'm not quite sure how the math works out. But yeah. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Yeah, I'll probably look worth into that. Shot. I'll like do some calculations in my own time and see what I can possibly improve on. But I'm also open for um I guess taking a suggestion from you guys to see what I should do with Sella because it's kind of like in the beta stages. But I'd like to hear you guys' opinion, what you think should be done or not. I'd greatly appreciate it. Is anything coming yet? No. Sometimes I get that. I get a battle. After I battled. You have so many. I know, I hate it. Like, leave me alone. There's, other, <laughs> there's like a million people playing but this I game. I want one. <laughs> I want one. You can I'm take serious. the minus 80 I got. Defense and no one will fight me. <laughs> you can take my minus 80. 
I don't care. I'm experimenting this week. I don't care about my score. Oh, isn't it so nice to not care about score? I feel liberated. Eh, I like caring about my score because I like puzzles. And <laughs> points are kind of like, you did well on this puzzle. And I'm like, yay, yeah, thank you, score. Uh, maybe I should. No, probably this week I'm not going to make it to rank one. I mean, it, it's 1K. Rank. Yeah. I just care you, about you the... You surprise yourself. Yeah, I just care about Infinity Flowers. <laughs> Yeah, but Astra rank one is not hard to not that hard to get. I know it's way better than light. Light is just a competition to see who has the biggest wallet. Basically, yeah. <laughs> oh, light is just a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh. Anyways. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this really information packed etherates video. It took a lot of it took a lot of thinking from us to figure that one out. And we still lost. <laughs> we just lost Stella. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're learning. I'm still learning how to use my repel unit too. Yeah. Think of it as it's a learning a, experience. A yeah, the process. Yeah, hopefully you guys learned from my mistake. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Ether Aids video today, and I want to thank you once again, Ash, for um, making time out of your day to join me in the endeavor that is Ether Aids. You can invite me anytime, and one day I'll figure out my technical limitations and invite you over to my channel. <laughs> okay. One day, you guys, day you heard it here. Me. Yeah. <laughs> When my phone doesn't hate me and says, like, hey, I'll actually talk to me. You know. <laughs> you have processes. Anyways, good luck with everyone today in Ether Aids. And we'll see you guys in the next Ether Aids videos that we collab on, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>